Whereas most nations around the world celebrate their national day with pomp and circumstance, in England, St George's Day has often been a quiet affair. But today at the Address in Dubai, a long lunch with a couple of English sporting legends was hoping to redress the balance. I met with double Olympic gold medalist Daley Thompson and rugby World Cup winner turned TV personality Matt Dawson before the party got underway. Daley Thompson is considered the greatest decathlete of all time with gold in both the 1980 and 84 Olympics and is an integral part of the 2012 London Olympic Committee. Matt Dawson was a crucial part of England's Rugby World Cup winning squad of 2003. So you'd imagine they have no trouble being openly patriotic. I think the problem with being English is that we're always uh, very reticent to, uh, to celebrate our success and, and tell people how good we are. And yet every other country, you know, Australia, America, Canada, they've all got their own days. It's one day of the year that maybe we can, we can be a little bit more than confident, maybe get slightly, slightly more towards arrogant about being English. And, uh, you know, there are millions of uh, the English all over the world. Why not celebrate what a fantastic country that we are? Of course, there's that strange phenomenon with the English and sporting success. Whenever we actually win something, we find it hard to celebrate it. Why is that? But one of the, the downsides of, of being English is that we don't tell people just how great we are. And I'm hoping that when they have the uh, opening ceremony at the Olympic Games, we, that is the perfect opportunity for us to tell the world how fantastic we have been through the last five, six, seven centuries. So is there a change in the water? Is the English sporting reserve slowly being erased? They're winning the World Cup for your country, nothing, in my eyes, nothing can compare to that and get anywhere close to it. Um, in f football, there's that ongoing debate on whether you're going to win the Champions League or the FA Cup or the World Cup. You know, we've got some great players playing football and if they win the World Cup I think it will all change and all of a sudden they'll realise what the shouting and screaming about is about and England will become the ultimate um, and hopefully that will happen sooner rather than later. Perhaps events like the long lunch go some way towards catching up with other countries ability to celebrate their sporting heritage for one day a year at least. There you go that's your sport Amir. So it's looking like England finally has something to celebrate when it comes to sport. Well, we're getting slightly better at it, but just be nice to win more things. We have more practice. <laughs>